So this certainly looks a little bit confusing. There's uh, three groups of four players. And it seems as if everyone's uh, batting against each other. If you pay close attention, what it actually is, is it's Team Red, uh, the uh, shirtless uh, team, so to speak, against uh, Team Blue. The uh, green team consists of four players that are all free agents that basically join in and are a part of the team in possession. So whenever a player in blue, for instance, takes the ball off a red player, he can play to a green player and double pass the ball there. As soon as he loses possession, then the team green gets involved with the other group. This, by the way, I think changes uh, as the exercises commences. So right now, uh, team green is at actually not a free agent, but it seems as if uh, the red uh, team is uh, just that. It's blue against red now, so... That changes as we go along. A little confusing, but if you uh, watch uh, Bayern's live training sessions uh, regularly, then you've seen this before. Uh, it's typical for Pep Guardiola and his coaching staff to work there with um, free agents, so to speak. The reason is, of course, that you create superior numbers for the uh, team in possession and make it more difficult for the team without possession to gain control of the ball. Tusky and Benatia here on our screen together. Mili Benatia, again, a career at Bayern marred by several uh, injuries uh, ever since he joined Bayern, but with uh, some really good statistics for Bayern Munich as well uh, in the passing game as well as uh, his statistic when it comes to uh, duels against uh, strikers. One of the best uh, players in the league when it comes to those statistics and in the uh, few games, let's hope he hasn't hurt his knee here just now, in the few games that he did play for Bayern Munich so far, and I think uh, Bayern fans will agree he made a remarkably uh, level-headed and cool job there, very solid, very uh, calm and controlled in defense, and certainly uh, someone who can help Bayern Munich now in uh, the uh, back three or back four, depending on what system Bayern Munich uh, choose to play. Yes, it was a good example of how Pep Guardiola likes to uh, vary uh, systems and tactics, not only uh, from game to game, but within games. Bayern yesterday basically played with a back three, which uh, occasionally turned into a back four with Lahm joining in at the back uh, if Augsburg had possession for more than uh, just a couple of passes. It's all uh, in motion, all very flexible the way Bayern play, but with uh, no real centre-back left in the squad. The uh, calmness, the control, the, the vision and, and anticipation of Benatia could really be great help, particularly for someone like Joshua Kimmich, the uh, young wonder boy who, like Alaba, has played pretty much every position on the pitch this season so far already. Alaba, I think, is... Uh, Pretty much really played every position possible apart from goalkeeper and striker. Here's a look at the Bayern goalkeepers. In goal, Tom Starke. Uh, just now taking a shot at him was uh, Sven Ulreich, who's quite obviously not 100% ready yet. Tom Starke was on the bench uh, yesterday. Usually Sven Ulreich is the backup goalkeeper to uh, Manuel Neuer. But the goalkeeping position certainly won which Bayern Munich don't have to worry about. Tom Starke currently really the number three uh, goalkeeper in the Bayern squad. 
and uh, he is someone who's who was dearly missed at Hoffenheim after he left and joined Bayern Munich. Hoffenheim, of course, now have reacted to uh, a season or two of difficulties at the back with uh, Oliver Baumann now in their team. But so an Ulreich who's now uh, entering goal. Let's have a look at him for a minute or two and see uh, what impression he makes. He sustained an injury. Worst of luck, really. The last day of the training camp uh, in Qatar, I had the opportunity to talk to him a little bit, and of course he was really frustrated and disappointed. Fortunately, it wasn't a uh, very serious injury, a season-ending injury. So, uh, as you can see, he's back in uh, goalkeeping training. Has been for a couple of uh, days in this full uh, goalkeeping training, so I expect to see him uh, back uh, in the squad soon. Doesn't seem as if he's uh, holding back in particular or if he's unable to save the occasional ball. So in this situation here, green against the rest of the world, blue and red playing together. Sebastian Rode came on yesterday late in the game into holding midfield to help hold on to Bayern Munich's lead. Certainly also a man who can play an important role for Bayern Munich in the upcoming weeks. Here's Seda Tusky there on the right. Julian Green. Here is uh, Tusky. Certainly a face by his fans uh, still have to familiarize themselves with. So far, no uh, game, no minutes for Bayern Munich. But it's good to see that he can uh, join in every uh, training session. Following the first one, which already uh, immediately had quite a shock value for Bayern. And he suffered a concussion in his first uh, training session at Bayern Munich. Speak about bad luck in Bayern's defense. Pep Guardiola really needs to be the master of improvisation at Bayern Munich, and he is doing a remarkable job at that. As you can see, the next uh, exercise focusing on uh, one touch football, fast uh, reactions, focusing on uh, getting rid of that ball quickly under intense pressure with no space and no time whatsoever. It's a similar exercise to what we saw earlier and uh, judging by the layout of the pitch today this is uh, all this group of players is going to uh, do here today it is really good news for the Bayern fans to see players like Ribéry and Götze on the pitch in these full team training sessions not holding back going into duels challenging tackling the ball Benatia and Tusky are here in this group uh, on the pitch as I mentioned I think several times now uh, those two players could become super important for Bayern Munich in the next few weeks. We'll see just what role they can play and how fit they are when they can really join in uh, Bayern Munich's uh, competitive uh, football. This man here is Steven Ribéry, certainly a uh, name that's familiar for the Bayern fans and a man that we will uh, keep an eye on in uh, the near future. Xabi Alonso, Rafinha there in this group as well and uh, Always ready to play if they're not uh, serving that uh, yellow card ban, as is uh, Sebastian. Rode, since most of the uh, players, since a lot of the uh, 
players who featured in yesterday's game are not on the pitch here today. We're going to cut this uh, live uh, training uh, session a little short here, show you maybe another minute of this exercise, and then uh, say farewell. It's the last calm and quiet week of full training for Pep Guardiola before the uh, Champions League game next week against Juventus uh, Turin. And uh, another busy week of Bundesliga football. Slowly but surely, the uh, really busy schedule, the really crucial, big, important games are knocking on our door. And it's good to see that despite the uh, really, really bad injury news that Pep Guardiola had to uh, cope with and still has to cope with in these weeks, that there are players returning to the squad, that there are players who have been working hard for weeks to uh, work on their comeback. There are a couple of players returning. There is some good news uh, on the horizon. We'll see uh, who can help and who can hopefully contribute to a successful season 2015-2016 at Bayern Munich. Thanks for watching today and goodbye. Tramba comes and ball nobody said he's alone no.